So today what we're doing is checking out this patch for 1.7 for the cruise ship version of NBA 2K22 for those y'all that haven't seen it yet, you know, because it came out like I want to say two, three days ago, like on I think Wednesday, I believe. So we're looking at this patch and I'm going to read what they said because I'm pretty sure they're not going to talk about the major issues that I'm having with this game as of right now, but we're going to look at it anyway, you know what I'm saying? So let's click this link right here. All right. Okay. NBA 2K22 current gen patch update. 1.7. I don't know why they call it a current gen still because it's the PS4 version now. That's what we should call it instead, but I don't know. It's just me. All right, for general, they said that they tightened collision detection to prevent ghost charging slash blocking fouls during gameplay. I didn't know that was a problem, but I'm glad it switched for, you know, the PS4 version. All right, moving on, they said rebirth and the associated quest should once again be attainable for those users still looking to properly acquire it. I didn't know that, you know, rebirth was a problem for 2K22 for the PS4 Xbox One version, but, you know, I'm glad they fixed that again because the thing is with me, I've only played, you know, PS5 version of 2K22. I've not played the PS4 version in like, I don't know, probably what, like three weeks now? Because you see the squad I run is on PS5 version with me and they don't run the cruise ship version and I don't really either. So that's why I didn't know that Rebirth was a problem. I didn't know it was a problem at all. So I'm glad it's now fixed for that because that's just crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? PS4 version, Xbox One version, I don't know what's going on on that version. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why Rebirth was not working right. But I'm glad, like I said, it's now fixed. All right, anyway, the Gym Rat Badge should once again be attainable for those users. Okay, Gym Rat Badge was another one just like the Rebirth thing that was hard for people to get or whatever. I don't know why. I thought, see me, I thought that the Gym Rat thing was kind of similar to the whole Mamba Mentality Badge, which I got for the PS5 version. So is it similar to that? Somebody let me know down below in the comment section down below. Is it similar? Because I thought it was similar, but I guess not. Anyway, addressed an issue with custom jerseys that resulted in invisible players in my team i don't care about my team but that's good to fix that 2020 2021 nba championship banners have been raised in the bucks pfizer form <laughs> who in the world cares about that what who was checking and playing out online or in my career to see whether or not the jerseys are the accurate jerseys like what 2k should have left out the patch notes the stuff that they should put in the patch notes they don't put in the patch notes and the thing that they shouldn't they put in the patch notes for whatever reason so i don't know what's <laughs> i don't know what's up with that anyway last but not least they say that many more fixes including to improve the okay that's nothing i don't know why again this is exactly what i was talking about about three seconds ago i don't know why 2k be doing this stuff they just put this in here for whatever reason this last bullet point could have been left out so what i don't see right here this is of course the last week's patch what i don't see right here is stuff about shooting latency all that stuff because i'm having problems with that because me personally ever since the patch that came out i've been having a horrible experience with the game i've always had latency on 2k games but now ever since this patch has been released i have more latency than usual i don't know what in the world 2k doing man they can never put out a patch and actually fix the thing that they're trying to fix and only fix what they wanted to fix initially they always end up messing something else up i don't know why that happens because now when i'm playing like for example matchmaking 3v3 or 3v3 in the you know affiliations or whatever i go in there and i have a whole lot more latency than usual my player has input delay my dribble moves don't come out the right way nothing like nothing comes out correctly also the shooting like i said in the previous video like i want to say two three videos ago that the shooting is now worse too like they tried to make the shooting more balanced but instead they made it more i don't know choppy i should call it when you have your shot meter on and we you have your shot meter off you get early late glitches on especially the ps4 version so i don't know why the devs over at 2k cannot get this right or whoever is in charge of these patches cannot get them right but anyway we're gonna go on twitter and see what the community's thinking of this because i can't believe that it's you know looked a lot of this stuff out but um let's go all right so under this little our latest patch initial post they put up we got some people underneath now badge plug said paint defense seems to be buffed anyone else think so or notice it me personally i don't have no interior defense anyway because i have a play shot so i didn't notice um what else did they patch i ain't reading all that not much to read in adx i'm like you read it basically nothing what's important is the many more fixes exactly like he being sarcastic because 2k always does this puts many more fixes and leaves you know us vague information all that stuff i don't know why they be doing that my rebirth still gets no progression points i mean that sounds like a personal problem anyway let's keep moving on the guy but grungy is saying exactly what i was thinking he said the game was perfect day one now look at because the casuals will want to complain now this game is looking like 2k21 all over we had defense at the beginning of the year you nerfing so many defense badges it's an offensive game like 21 this is not it chef speaking of chef i'm glad he says chef because speaking of the chef badge 2k said they buffed chef as well i believe i think they said that before i think mike wayne said something about that let me see real quick i heard that the chef badge was supposed to be buffed or whatever but i'm looking at mike wayne post right now and i don't see it at all so i'm guessing that's just a rumor i don't know i'm gonna just test it myself i guess in the future video to see for myself if the chef badge was actually buffed or not because i'm not seeing it on mike wayne's twitter i didn't see it in the patch notes so 
I don't know. Nerf left to right on next gen. There's nothing they can do about left right. I'm get like this is just what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they can do anything about it. Cause if they could, they would have by now. Maybe they wouldn't have. I don't know. It's 2J. Who knows? But this dude is right though. You do be chasing too many midgets on this game because Mike Wayne told us that midgets can you know dribble a lot faster than you know taller players. This patch and L, patch and L still happening to me on my rebirth build. But yeah, basically, from what I've seen on Twitter besides today, and what I've heard from people in the community is that. The shooting is a whole lot worse, which I agree. The shooting is a whole lot worse. I had to create a whole new jump shot because of that. The bases were changed or whatever. It just feels a whole lot different. There's a whole lot more latency, like I said earlier. On top of that, there's just more movement delay in general because now when you move on the court, you feel delayed with your player. 2K already has bad servers anyway, so now the servers feel even worse after this patch. And on top of that, my internet is not that good anyway, so my latency is even worse because of that. I did not want this patch to come about because I already knew what was going to happen if 2K released a patch to their game. The game was fine the way it was when it first came out. The game was almost perfect. I think I saw somebody, I think it was either Badge Plug or Chalk say on Twitter that they believed that this game was in the top three 2Ks of all time before the patch came out. And I agree, like this probably was, in my opinion, the second best 2K of all time that we've ever had right behind the NBA 2K16, but not very far behind 2K16, like slightly behind it. Because like I said, this patch just messed it up. Like, <laughs> I don't understand why they keep doing this every single time they do a patch or a first initial patch. The same thing happened with 2K19, I believe. I think 2K19 was really good. Then they put out their first patch, made it horrible. I think that's when post course can shoot over, you know, smaller players and everything like real easy and all that stuff. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that was after the first patch with 2K19. The second patch, the game was still horrible, like I said. The third patch is when things picked back up for 2K19. So at this point, all I can hope is that the third patch fixes the shooting the way it was before when the game first came out because people did complain about shooting being too easy and I agree it was slightly too easy as I said in the previous video but I'd rather the shooting be a little bit too easy than have early late glitches on PS4 version and Xbox One version and then have latency like we have right now because the latency was already bad because the service was already trash I didn't say it like a thousand times by now and they're even worse now so 2k needs to fix this in patch 3 because if not this game is going to be probably well not as bad as 2k21 but it's not going to be, you know, a good look for 2K going forward. So, I don't know, y'all. That's it for this video. In the description down below, I said description, my bad. In the comment section down below, y'all can let me know if y'all having more delay or less delay after this patch. And also, how y'all feel about shooting again, if y'all want to let me know that down below. Because, like I said, I just don't think this patch did anything good at all. And again, I still be hearing things about Chef Badge, so I'm going to be making a video in the future on Chef. I don't know if I'm going to do it for the PS4 version, the PS5 version. I don't know. I might do both. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Just stick around and stay tuned. But um, with that being said, you guys, I appreciate y'all for watching this video because I didn't appreciate making this video myself because look at what we got for this patch. You know what I'm saying? This patch was terrible. But with that being said, y'all, if you're brand new, hit the subscribe button because I post videos like this like between 1 and 6 p.m. every night, every day, but like close to every day. I'm trying to be more consistent to this, you know, subscribe down below. Also, leave a like and turn on your post notifications and all that good stuff. But um, with that being said, y'all, for real this time, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.